How you all doing guys? So, yeah, my name's Adam and I've actually, this week I've had a really tough week, you know. My grandfather's got Alzheimer's. And the hardest part about Alzheimer's is they say it's hereditary. And the hardest part about Alzheimer's is they say it's hereditary. <laughs> but growing up I had one brother and, and everyone said he was the better looking version of me. So, they'd say he looks like Troy, whereas I looked more like a footballer on the way to court, you know. Just, what do you reckon? <laughs> but growing up we had a mother, a single mother, and she had it tough, right? She, you know, had to bring up two kids on her own, worked three jobs, and she had to deal with a young, growing boy with a really big, long, thick, Australian head. <laughs> <It's a big> <laughs> head. <laughs> so she told me, right, that um, it's my biggest asset, because all the people out there with small heads, they've only got enough room for small brains, where I've got a big head so I can fit in a lot of cocaine. <laughs> Maybe I am a footballer on the way to court. <laughs> so, you know, after growing up, I thought it'd be time to, to move out. So I went and studied in Africa. And, you know, we're all from the, you know, the most livable city in the world. And anywhere from here is down. And Africa, it's fucking rock bottom, you know. And, and that's what I found out when I was there. But, you know, whilst we've got... Whilst they've got AIDS, we've got the flu, where they've got donkeys, we've got Lamborghinis, and where they've got corrupt governments, we've got the Australian cricket team. <laughs> Another cricket joke. <laughs> but in all honesty, um, every day I walk past this one girl on the street, right? She had one leg, had AIDS, was starving and dying, and I was told you always have to give to those in need. So I gave her my wallet. It had nothing in it, but it was a good start, you know. <laughs> but I got back and I've, I've actually got a girlfriend and um, she's in the ballet, right? And she tells me that all the boys that she dances with are gay. And I mean, I, I see her on stage and they get really intimate when they dance. But I saw her giving Callum a handjob after the show. <laughs> it's, it's fine, he's, he's gay. It's, it's okay. <laughs> One of the things we love to do, you know, is we love taking the kids to the beach on a sunny day. You get them in the shade and you play in the water and, and you get the sunscreen and you rub it all over their body and in the side and everywhere, you know, with the, the sunscreen. So they're not my kids. I don't even know them. <laughs> Actually, yes, I do. I've been staring at them for the last 20 days. <laughs> but... In all honesty, a wise comic once told me when it comes to these kind of jokes, a black person can tell black jokes, an Asian person can tell Asian jokes, and a pedophile can, well, you can tell pedophile jokes. <laughs> I'm not a pedophile guy, I was just, just fucking around. <laughs> so, you know, I had, a, had another joke. But my grandfather's got Alzheimer's and he says it's hereditary. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Cheers. <laughs>